if my calculations that I recorded are correct, $3 million for the agriculture disease, uh, $2 million for the wildfire. How many months later? How many months later they needed that money? So many months ago, that was back in July. But understood, they needed that back in July. We were hoping that you would come with a supplementary for that back in July. Madam Speaker, that is $5 million. Remember, it's a $106 million supplementary that we're dealing with, Madam Speaker. $800,000 for the BDF out of the 1.7 that is there allotted, Madam Speaker, um, to deal with the cartel. Even when I was sounding the alarm about the cartel, you said that I was overreacting. I understand that there are members of the cartel that have infiltrated all forms of our society, from government to private sector, Madam Speaker. And then we have um, this $2 million for vehicles. Start with the $2 million for vehicles. How is it that in March you did not anticipate that you would need vehicles? How is it? You're such a great businessman. Which business administration degree are you speaking of that did not give you the ability to foresee this? We want to look at some of the expenditures that, again, are not unforeseen. The, the Prime Minister said nothing about the $4 million um, in the Ministry of Finance. It's a total of $10 million of unforeseen, according to him, costs in the Ministry of Finance. We have $2.3 million in the office of the Prime Minister. Prime Minister said nothing as to what is that $2.3 million. We have another $6.1 million in the Ministry of Finance. Madam Speaker, yet we still don't have a youth director, Madam Speaker. We still can't get license plates uh, in the Ministry of Transport, um, Madam Speaker. We still have a climate resilient problem when it comes to many of the infrastructure projects that this government has completed, Madam Speaker. Now, the Honorable Prime Minister talked about $800,000 for unforeseen costs in the Ministry of Defense. We have $3.3 million here. And we understand that we have to help our brothers in Haiti. But this is what makes the Office of the Auditor General so important, to depoliticize the criticisms of the government. Obviously, the opposition does not trust the government, might have some that are working with the government, but definitely not me. So I have no confidence in the government, Madam Speaker, and that is why they belittle me and they attack me. It is a badge of honor because I have no interest, Madam Speaker, in supporting complicitly any of the malfeasance that we have seen over the last four years.